There you go, RPG-29 has reloaded. RPG-7 now, big boy tandem round. There, I, I don't know why they're waiting. RPG-7 with the big boy tandem round misses. RPG-29 coming in for the second shot. Oh my God! Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of Eye in the Sky, where we take a look at a game squad from the top down, and in this one, we have the Aussies up against the insurgents on Al Basra. This is Al Basra Invasion V3, and all y'all know that this is my all-time favorite map game mode combo in the game. You got massive blue four armor and infantry pushes, combined with some great objectives to hold as insurgents, and you have yourselves around a squad that is usually really competitive, if and only if the defenders show up to fight. Well, thankfully, in this round they did and this game had everything so instead of wasting y'all's time let's just get straight to the action if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe for more and drop me a comment below on a map game mode or faction you'd like to see in the next one and don't forget to check out the live streams over at twitch.tv slash moinog where i stream every weekday but that's it for me enjoy the video peace eye in the sky al basra invasion this is al basra al basra al basra invasion v3 we have the Aussies up against the insurgents. Aussies attacking from the standard northeast corner of the map. And they are going up to Basra Airport. That's the first point into North VCP ruins. Then VCP, uh, I don't. I usually don't like this layout. It's kind of a freebie. If they get VCP, VCP ruins, we'll have to see. That's going to be hard for insurgents. Then Alcora, East Basra, Island Suburbs, and that is it. Aussies start off with an Abrams, two Aslavs, a couple PMVs, some transports, and they also start off with that MRH helicopter. Insurgents have T-62, a lot of SPGs, a BMP-1, and then some techies. This will be an absolute slugfest. All right, all right, Chewy, Commander, what's the plan? Come on. I'm hoping uh, everyone just yeets on an airfield. We're just going to follow them around, like just push in there. Somebody okay. might want to get a nab on the, like, the They said they're just going to do this. Follow the green lines. That's what they're doing. All right, let's go. We got the four. Stay, stay land. We're getting out. <laughs> I just love the rollout, though, you know? Just looks so badass. All right, but the biggest thing with Al Basra Invasion is this first rollout. You need to protect your lodgies. You need to protect your bigger vehicles. And already we have Insurgent on the little bike. He goes down. So our first casualty of the game. Oh, wait, hold on. What are you, what are they doing? Oh my goodness. Get absolutely wrecked by a scout car. Vincent in the scout car catches the PMV sleeping. And scout car gets absolutely smoked. Catches himself on the top of the fence, and that is a huge squad wipe. 192 tickets already for Aussies. And that is not how you want to start the game. Yikes. And luckily, it wasn't a Lodgy. I mean, you still don't want to lose a squad right out the gate, but that was a PMV and not a Lodgy, which is... A yeah, if it's going to happen, let that happen. But the big old flank of Rooney is still going on, and you have the airfield... Yeah, this is, um, I don't not like it. I don't dislike it. Both. Same thing. Uh, west side push and PMV is first. Tanks laying in some suppressing fire. And we are rolling. Airfield is hot. We are on the west side and Lodgy. They just need to be patient. Squad leaders need to get into the, ooh, some teleporting here. Nice little rubber banding. Uh, and, oh, I was going to say, you need to be patient. Don't drop the radio out on the back. That is the easiest spot for insurgents to try to get it. Uh, we'll see if that comes back to bite them. But insurgents, they are damn close. You got Pingu's milf of them. <laughs> okay. All right. You got insurgents is what I meant to say. Close. Balls. Very ashamed. 412 Berg all in the tents here and Aussies are trying to push out create some space so they can get a hab good shots and you have 
a whole bunch of pain on the west side. Now the issue is, can the Aussies? Whoa! What? What the? What the? What? What is even it's getting hit by a dishka? I think helicopters going in way too hot. And oh my goodness, that was a full helicopter. Oh no! Helicopter tries to do a hot drop. Way too hot. Gets smoked, I think, once again by that scout car. Vincent in the scout car, I believe, with a second kill. And there it is. Oh, no, it's a different one. Maybe Bandago or or uh, whoever's in the background. Are you purposely throwing right now? <laughs> Are you purposely throwing? Command chat asking the real questions here. I don't think anyone is purposely throwing, but oh my goodness, they are making it hard on themselves. 165 tickets to 841 as the tank is tracked. Looks like someone ran in with an, maybe an IED on himself. You can't actually put IEDs on, on bodies here. And Leopard, or not Leopard, sorry, Abrams. Takes out one armored dishka right over the berm. But is that... Oh! Right through the camera! SPG right over the hill! Trying to get that nice little angle. And he actually might get a perfect shot if he's patient. Abram's about to come up. Both crewmen out. And they're gonna reverse. Oh! And just barely misses the top of the turret! Abrams doesn't realize they're so close. SPG repositioning. And he's going to reload and see this tank so close. Gunner needs to be aware that they're still taking fire. SVG lines up. And what the field goal? Three points. Not even close to the tank. With that one. Abrams on borrowed time. Because he's obviously not paying attention to the SPG. But SPG now trying to line it up again. And now this fence actually might protect him. SPG's commander now seeing. Ooh, SPG just a little too low. Did he actually hit? Oh my God, he's gone. What an absolute shot by the Abrams. That's literally just a middle finger as he rolls back to main. Oh my goodness. The disrespect. Back on the airstrip though, PMV. Gets tapped by an RPG, and this is all gone sideways for the Aussies. They're they're not able to push out at all, and unfortunately, what we mentioned earlier, this radio, all of the vehicles that pushed in originally are no longer there. Specialist McNasty, I mean, isn't <laughs> not quite a nasty play there. Marked most likely radio is marked by this uh, sniper here. Mayonnaise. Man is, okay, mayonnaise or mayonnaise? I, th I think I say mayonnaise. Yeah, I say mayonnaise. I don't know why I pronounced it mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is the superior condiment. Uh, mayonnaise knocking out the only Aussie outside this Hesco wall. And unfortunately, he's going to, or unfortunately for the Aussies rather, he's going to crawl up right onto this radio. And you know what? Maybe he won't crawl up to the radio. Maybe it's going to be 10 minutes. The game will end and this radio will still be alive because he just won't stand up and go over there. He'll just lay down in the dirt. Uh, he'll go away from the radio, actually. He'll go backwards. He'll look the complete opposite direction and start backing up further from the radio and try to shoot at an armored car with his Mosin Nagant. Maybe he'll just do that. It looks like he is. Never mind. I was about to uh, compliment a sniper, but once again, sniper shows us why they can never be trusted. Infantry fighting close quarters up near the hab here. Full infantry squad actually behind these Hesco. So this is both a good thing and a bad thing. When you start building up these uh, these blocks. These HESCO blocks, these HESCO bunkers, these outposts, you actually create areas where infantry will want to protect themselves in. As you can see, the only person man enough 
to run out was emasculating fart. <laughs> Trying to run out and uh, get up to the tents here, but without without the uh, creating the space, you can see the infantry, the red wave is now just running over and they have overrun this hab. And what was originally, there you go, Mayonnaise has got, found, found himself on the radio about time, 112 tickets, and this hab is completely overrun. Uh, first RB, Juan Wick. <laughs> unfortunately goes down the last person in the hab and mr pancake has thrown three anti-tank grenades over the pmv missed all three but that's okay because nobody's there to defend it and another dishka torpex getting wrecked by the dishka and that is harris 29 what i mean this is a great dishka position They've knocked out a couple PMVs here, and that's 12-7 just tearing through the lightly armored. Hey, armor. Can you guys can start popping some shots into these compounds here that squad two diamond marks? Yep, that is exactly what they need. Oh, they pulled the switcheroo! Who cares? West side is not the best side. It's all happening on the east side. And here we go. They actually might have started to cap it. Ooh, not just yet. Oh, I hear a drone. Oh, that is a drone. That is a drone. IED drone Put some rounds into there. trying to keep eyes on the situation here and it looks like the Aslav I don't even know what happened to him Aslav might have taken a tandem round oh SPG maybe SPG just barely misses kicks up a whole bunch of dirt as that Aslav is damaged needs to repair and he's probably going to go down with the next shot if the SPG can just get the distance right hiding in the smoke crewman oh my goodness there it goes rpg into the side fire now out for the aslav and the crewmen are going to try to do everything they can but does it matter it explodes in a ball of fire i'm trying to figure out where exactly oh here it is spg techie from way downtown that's some good shots kind of redeems himself from the earlier uh, abrams miss and well we have a helicopter again and that is an empty helicopter so just coming in for maybe some ammo support helicopter doing a oh i mean this is a dangerous position for the helicopter that is a big boy helicopter coming in very hot on a very hot airstrip rpg just barely misses and helicopters gonna back on out just as the aslav bronco baker a sphincter says what? Now, a sphincter says what and emasculating fart they got to be the same guys they, they got to be buddies here tank oh actually hold on a second uh, they're almost we almost have a cap here 49 tickets for the Aussies, but that last uh, heat round nearly cleared out the, the second to main compound. The second to main? What I mean, the additional compound in uh, in airport. And we can see here this uh, rectangular prism, half secured by the Aussies, the other half secured by the insurgents and water bottle bandit camp, <laughs> big duck, Quan Wick. They're fighting for the security here because in the middle of this hourglass, that is the radio. If they're able to dig down that radio, the Aussies, and they should be able to take over this point. But 45 tickets, I don't know if they're going to have enough time to do it before they lose tickets because they've just been absolutely bleeding tickets even from the get-go as the Abrams now a, a little bit risky play by the Abrams. As you have insurgents literally all over this position. And hold on, RPG-29 smacks the Abrams, tracks him in the worst possible position, smack dab in the middle of the airstrip. RPG-29 goes to reload. First RPG off the side to our right misses. And now you got defensive smoke. You do not want to do defensive smoke in this position. You are preventing yourself from seeing the RPGs because the RPG knows exactly where you are. RPG 29 lining it up. Never mind, RPG doesn't know where he is. Thanks. 
Really? You're gonna do me like that? After I just criticized for him, you're gonna show everyone that the smoke worked. Really? Come on, reload, fix it. There you go, RPG-29 lining up one more time. Should see him this time. Never mind, he bobs and weaves, decides, nope, not gonna do it here for some reason. I don't know, is he playing for the other team? He's gonna run away. I am not sure what's happening. Just killed the tank. Oh, he's out of ammo. There's no more ammo. Trying to reload the ammo. RPGs. Now you got the big boy tandem round. That's the RPG-7 with the tandem warhead. I am so confused right now. There you go. RPG-29 has reloaded. RPG-7 now. Big boy tandem round. There. I, I don't know why they're waiting. RPG-7 with the big boy tandem round misses. RPG-29 coming in for the second shot. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> What a shot by the Abrams! Oh no! Just keep pairing them up. <laughs> what a turn of events! Abrams saves it and out of nowhere comes the IED by. <laughs> oh, it's all going down on the airstrip. Unbelievable. We squad game in here. 20 tickets to 721. And here you go. Can the Aussies pull it off? Aussies nearly neutralized the objective and UAV has come up. They're trying to see if they can deal maybe a killing blow with some artillery, but 20 tickets left. Did we ever kill that tank? Very ashamed. Yes. They should be. <laughs> what a play. Oh my goodness. One of the craziest like three minutes of squad I think I've seen in a very, very long time. 17 tickets. The radio is not... Oh, radio is finally dug down. And hold on a second. You have Aussies trying to work through the compound right now. On the left side of your screen, you got insurgents on the right side of your screen. Oh, hold on a second. You got the flank! Oh no! The pistol flank! Oh! I, I don't know. Were those like dud rockets? F-18, Hornet. I, I, uh, something happened. Not a lot, actually. 17 tickets. And it's all going sideways for the insurgents now. Aussies try to get a little John Wick, but Tennessee Whiskey mops up whatever pistol whipping Aussie turned the corner there. And 15 tickets to 707. Oh, I can't tell. About 50% cap, 30 seconds. If they have 30 seconds to not lose 15 tickets. Another vehicle goes down way out east, but that was not an Aussie vehicle. So it looks like they're just going to be able to do it. Tennessee Whiskey gets basically executed. 15 tickets and 75%. That's going to be a W, at least for the first point. I don't know. I mean, they're now going to have 100 tickets to push from here all the way across the river onto a highly fortified North VCP. I don't see that happening, but hey, I don't, I've seen crazier things happen in squad. Fifteen tickets to sixty-nine. Nice five. And they have it. A hundred and fifteen tickets for the good. I don't think the T sixty-two is up just yet. I think they have about eight more minutes before the T sixty-two is up. Helicopter comes in and <laughs> Okay, you know that was good. That was good. That's actually scared me for a second. 
uh, Aussies. Now, what they most likely will be doing here is this needs to be like a behind the VCP fob. They need to set up a fob like here or here or here, guest house. The issue is you're going to have an SPG hound skip. That's a fantastic position. Probably has them almost head glitching. Um, I mean, this is a huge helicopter, man. This makes me nervous. I think I would be mad with myself if I didn't follow this helicopter right now. I'm not saying something bad is going to happen, but I don't necessarily think the best things are about to happen. But they need to get a flank on the other side of the river to have a chance with the amount of tickets they have left. RPG actually just misses. Not quite sure where that came from. But we can see right over here. RPG as an IED. IED obliterates. Oh my god, what a shot! RPG actually smacks into the side and honestly it was just a little ahead. If that had hit the tail rotor, <laughs> that would have actually knocked out the helicopter. That was a really good shot. Helicopter now coming in. I think they were going back to get some supply. They have the entire, almost like half the team in this freaking helicopter. I mean, that would have been a kill. Unbelievable. Going back on the helipad, going to repair, rearm, get some supplies, and then hopefully move on out. Um, but, yo, Glistle, Glistle Nam? That, that was a shot. Are they beating more people in this thing? Oh my goodness. How many souls are on the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You almost got two full squads worth of infantry in this helicopter right now. And we can see... You have a, a couple, a couple stragglers. You six is trying to set up a fob just west here of North BCP Ruins. It's still across the river. Uh, it looks like there's nobody at North BCP Ruins. You don't see any uh, red infantry. Oh, that's a waste of a mortar barrage. Um, unfortunately, Insurgent Command called in a mortar barrage on a point that is no longer active, so that's going to be wasted. Uh, but just because of how Squad loads the map. There's actually a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of insurgents at North VCP ruins. They're just not loaded in yet. So North VCP is going to be incredibly hot. Helicopter should be just about healed up. Once that uh, health bar goes in, there we go. They are fully healed. And we are going to go on an adventure. As this goes on, think to yourself, make a bet with yourself. If there's going to be good things to happen to this helicopter or bad things. You guys, you need to make, stay true to your bet. Whatever you decide happens, on on make it happen. Because I have, ooh, I, depending on how far they go, this actually might be a really good flank. Oh, wow, I, S, SPG, it might have been an SPG techie? Uh oh, they're over water now. SPG yeah. took a shot. I think that was Hound that we saw earlier. He took a shot at the helicopter. They're trying to touch in for a warehouse type fob not a bad idea you don't want your your dismounts to get into the water though this is this is kind of far i think it's a little too far for vcp it's not a bad idea for future pushes it just might be a little stretched as you have enemy infantry nearby actually a really good position oh hold on is that a radio Oh, that is a radio. So you actually have a good position. This might be a save. You might actually have a good infantry push coming in here. You have a whole bunch of infantry. They might find the radio. And with that, 92 tickets. They've only lost about 10 or 15 tickets uh, since they started. You actually might even be in a really good position. Helicopter is getting ready to move back. Now, the SPG Techie, though. Is just off to our left. 
And looks like the helicopter will be okay. So no issues there. Yeah, Actually, a huge the save by the helicopter. Um, SPG. And we're going to swap over to take a, take a look at where VCP is. So VCP, very surprised that helicopter didn't do something too gutsy. Um, very conservative play for them right now. Uh, but Hound Skip... They're going to be trying to get out this Aslav, which we can see right here. D-Rock in them. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. What is that over the other side of the hills? I see a bike. That is a bike. That is a danger bike. Insurgent bike coming up right behind the Aslavs. And you got infantry who just called them out. I don't see him, but it's getting caught up. It's yeah, he got shot by... Ooh, there you go. And after, I think this is... Yeah, there you go. The Crows... I actually didn't even see this Crows. The Crows PMV. I think that's now two or two Aussie vehicles which have already gone down to IED bikes. So they're going to be extremely aware. Usually in squad, you can IED bike a, a vehicle off by itself maybe once or twice. After that... You've kind of scared uh, the whole team into keeping eyes out for IED bikes. So good awareness for uh, Aussies to keep an eye out for that and call out the bike. Uh, as we see now, a night. This is a good fob. I like this. This fob. These, these are my favorite fobs. Oh, I can't talk about this. This is a perfect fob. Hey, boy, but it's out in the open. Yeah, it is out in the open. So you know what? Whenever you spawn in, you don't want to stay behind cover. You immediately say, hey, I need to GTFO out of the hab. Which is awesome because you don't want to fight in the hab. You want to get out of the hab. You want to spawn in and go away. This is a perfect hab. It keep, it's on the other side of the river. It gets people out. And now you're able to push. I like it. But... The infantry just need to set up a little bit. You see one Hesco block blocking a... Uh, blocking a door. They're getting an MG tripod up as well. Good position as the Aslav now support from across the river. I actually would not be surprised based on how they're going now. 82 tickets. I would not be surprised if the Aussies are able to roll this now into the city. Childish Fiend rolling right up into the objective. Maybe not the best of decisions. He's uh, dead. He's dead is what I meant to say. He's dead. Tan takes a tandem round right through the front of that PMV, and there you go. Yeah, this is it's going to be a bit tough for Aussies because you have VCP, which is well fortified, and it's encouraging players to fortify it because it's the next point. And sometimes you can get a domino effect where you lose North VCP ruins, and then you lose North VCP or new lose VCP immediately. But it looks like the insurgents, at least right now, are going to be set up in a really good defensive position to at least make them bleed for it. And this is the push from the airstrip or the airstrip from the helicopter insert earlier. But you can see that fob is just a little too far. And on the map, you see it's just a long line of blue math in the PMV goes down to an IED as well. And now you just have a whole bunch of Aussie infantry getting kind of picked off in the desert. Aussies are a little scattered right now. Their attack is going in in very much pulled out. They need to focus on one spot. They're going across the open desert without vehicles for support. Pardon the camera movement real quick. Trying to see what he's shooting at. I think you have, yeah, just frag rounds. RPGs from the south side of VCP trying to shoot out frag rounds to the incoming infantry. But this desert push is just... I don't want to say it's a waste of time, but especially right now when you're under 100 tickets, it's not the best use of resources. Definitely not the best use of resources. Um... And you can see even right now, there's not that many insurgents on the objective. Like, actually not a lot. They're going to start capping it soon. The moment that the rest of this uh, blob kind of gets into our rectangular prism, then insurgents are going to start losing the position and they're going to start losing the hab here. It's about to be overrun. And Aussies are going to be in a great spot. This might be a fantastic comeback for the Aussies here. You just need to get bodies on the point.
Lucid popping up with a RP RPD RPK PKP PKM he is holding down this container and I'm trying to figure out there were mortars just a second ago I'm trying to figure out where those mortars are coming from but hold on a second what we got here row with a trade on lucid wow actually fantastic trade oh that is enemy mortar or enemy mortars that is aussie mortars they have dialed in the hab and that is deadly look at those rounds coming in you got solo hero acting like a solo hero using that shovel just trying to keep people up uh harry 29 knocking out just tarski mortars are going to help suppress and keep the infantry in but as long as they keep shovels up they're going to be good to go rectangular prism up again and we can see slowly but surely the aussies are pushing in from the north side the issue is look at this this is just a wasteland of aussies they're spawning in from the southeast side they are spending two minutes to run and then just die as they get killed out in the desert then you have a support fob out west which is also a little too open so you have about 20 to 25 aussies who are not fighting from this hab since they're not fighting from this hab they can't get overwhelming numbers onto the objective and the team they could have vcp ruins right now easy look how many they have the mortars i mean this is fantastic mortar play Look, the mortars are keeping all the insurgents in this building, but they just don't have the numbers to literally get boots on the ground into the compound. 51 tickets left. Ace now pushing in. Ace with Kunker. And now Specialist McNasty. Druss, this should be overrun now. Fob should be overrun. And this hab is overrun. Luckily, luckily, words are hard. Luckily, the radio is down at VCP. So even if they lose this, oh, wow. Uh, 30 tickets just went down. 30 tickets just went down. I'm not sure what radio just went down, but that was a huge loss. Aussies down to 30, and they are just starting to capture North VCP ruins. Halfway to neutral. And tanks... I think we got our, yep, T-62. I'm gonna go back to the half. Like, is up. Uh, That's usually the next one. And wow, the T-62, they actually got a fantastic shot on this fire support fob. You see Juan Wick and Engelbert. Uh, they actually, Engelbert on that ATG in the toe. Oh, and there it goes. Wow, what a shot. Completely shoots it down. Oh, nope. Never mind. Tripod's still there made out of titanium unobtainium never get blown up anium and that position though that the t62 is going to have that on lock uh just neutral so here's the issue now the insurgents wasted their their mortar barrage earlier and now at a position where if they use the mortar barrage they could probably flip this point they're now going to be stuck and look at all the smoke Unbelievable. I mean, wh this is a, a huge comeback for the Aussies. They have just about used a hundred tickets to capture the next point. And because the point after that is so close, I would guess they're not going to lose that many. So Aussies with North BCP ruins and you got Alcora, you might give them a little bit of uh, breathing room by capturing this so close. So we might be looking at a comeback here, but hold on. There's still bodies going down. How did so many people die? Oh, hold on a second. We got the Alamo. What's going on here? Hey, we got the Alamo. What in the hell? Oh, they've stopped the cap. They stopped the cap. Oh my God. And they tossed a grenade. They killed Bill the Baphomet. Oh no! The Alamo is holding. Because 
Unbelievable. You need insurgents to get back on the point. They need to get out of BCP. Kunker goes down. He was the last medic alive. And now the issue is you have only 12 tickets. If you're Aussies, you can't give up and try to push out and get back on the point. You need to rely on the people that are currently alive. And Borbadal, he's got Torpex, I think. The Hab is almost back up. It's, it's no longer overrun. You got 10 more seconds till the entire insurgent team is about to spawn back in. Torpex goes down. Nine tickets left. Aussies are snatching the loss and defeat from the jaws of victory. Nine tickets left. You're at uh, so close. Aussies need to get back on the point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on it. Six tickets left. Aziz spawns in, Bordabelle spawns in, Pius spawns in. They need to clear it out. You got 90s, movies, tactics. You got Shinigami, Roe, McNasty, the Brandon T. They need to do something. Four tickets left and artillery is coming down. Command is calling in the big guns. And Mortars might have saved him here. Mortars knocks out Lucid in a couple more. You're getting it. Aussies coming back in. Four tickets left. You need Comrade Sheen in. Three tickets. Can we get it? A couple more bodies. Mortars are dialed in. Unfortunately, the artillery. Look at the artillery radius. You are about to kill your entire friendly team. This is the, the act of desperation. Two tickets left. Command artillery about to blow themselves up. Two tickets. The mortars are doing their job. Artillery goes down. Oh, they had just started capping. It had just ticked over blue. They needed 20 more seconds and it would have been a cap. Unbelievable. What a hold by the insurgents. Aussies nearly with an incredible comeback. 290 kills to 145 completely out fragging, but just not able to get the team on one push. G, freaking G.